the different options for us this year and with Steve Foster who, who handles our, our cultural affairs at the High Commission and the team, we, we thought we could be pretty confident that this exhibition um, would be not only beautiful and a feast for the eyes but also would leave you with some inspiration and um, perhaps um, some images um, and ideas relevant um, to, to the arts in Sri Lanka and to, to Sri Lanka more broadly. So I'm very pleased um, that you came this evening and I hope you'll speak glowingly of the exhibition um, and recommend your friends come along over the next two weeks where it's on, it's, it's on show here at the gallery, this beautiful gallery. I'm here with Cathy Klagman, the Australian High Commissioner, and she will say a few words about what she thinks of the exhibition. Well, it's a fantastic set of images um, from very remote country in, in northern Western Australia, um, an area called the Balgo Hills. These artworks have toured internationally. They are from renowned Australian Aboriginal artists. And we thought it was very um, appropriate to bring them here this week on the third anniversary of what we call our National Apology. The National Apology was a statement made by our Prime Minister, the leader of our country, um, to our National Parliament three years ago. And it was an important gesture of reconciliation between Australian Aborigines and non-Aboriginal Australians. It said sorry for past past policies which led to suffering and it looked forward to walking together into a successful future all as Australians. So it was a very important event for us. I got quite emotional listening to you speak and I do think reconciliation is the way and this is one way to do it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Amelie. On February 13, 2008, the then Prime Minister of Australia, the Honourable Kevin Rudd, moved a motion in the Australian Parliament of apology to, the, to Australia's Indigenous peoples. The Prime Minister described it as an occasion for the nation to turn a new page in Australia's history by righting the wrongs of the past and so moving forward with confidence in the future. opportunity to see here Australian art and we are happy to be here. We really appreciate uh, many paintings and uh, we, we always try to uh, attend all the exhibitions being held in Colombo, being it uh, Sri Lankan art or foreign art. It uh, gives our, makes our life more rich here I would say. I know you find it difficult to pronounce, but Kulunar is maybe also quite easy. Um, so you told me this is your favorite um, two paintings, and can you explain to me why? Uh, well, when I came in here, I just looked around, and then those two struck me immediately. I think because of the red, and this one with the red and white. So I really think they are very beautiful. And here, what I like here is also, like you see this sort of thing in the middle here, or almost in the middle, and then the power that goes out of there. No, I really love it.
I am here with Hiran Kurey, Chairman Jetwing Group and Chairman Pada. And um, I'm, uh, I am standing, we are standing in front of his favorite um, painting. He is an avid art collector, I know, because I've gone to his house and seen various pieces of great big art. And um, what appeals to you in this Hiran? I love the color, the simplicity of it. Uh, you know, uh, it, it brings a lot of life. So I just, I mean, I just love it. I mean, you know, and the little details that they have gone into, you know. So, so, so it's, it's. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's somebody who's got a lot of patience, who's, you know, got a lot of creativity, imagination, who's gone through this. So, and all of them. I mean, not only this, but it's when you ask me which one did you like most, it, it's very difficult because it, everything is so striking, so good. Yeah. And anyway, um, I, the, the Australian ambassador was telling me this is to say sorry after three yeah. years when they first said sorry to the aborigines. And in that context, I think the exhibition. I think I, I was surprised that she even said that because that's that's that shows the the caliber. I mean, the, of, of the people there, the 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 warmth they are now trying to extend. Uh, I think that's a great lesson for us as well. You know, if if you make a mistake, it's always better to say sorry recover from it and then you know make the others who are living happy absolutely sorry maybe the hardest word but you have to say it when the time comes thank you hira I'm here with Dr. Pakya Suthi Saravanamuthu, Executive Director of the CPA and soon to be recipient of the National Peace Council Award. Uh, yes, yes. Congratulations, Sir Thank Sandy. you, oh, Right. Anyway, this is your favorite painting. What can you say? Why I like this one in particular is just because of the vibrancy of colors and the theme that is being represented here. I think it is fresh, it's dynamic, it really does make you feel good about life with all its trials and tribulations. So in this sense, it's a great stimulus to life. <laughs>